So the schedule releases next Thursday, the 11th. So the NFL seems to be doing this. This is the whole thing. Like the NFL seems to be doing this um, the second Thursday of May. Every They did it the 12th of last year of May, and then they did it, they're doing it the 11th this year. So that's what it seems to be. Now I have a question for you. We're going to do a prediction, but we're going we're gonna to put some flavor on it as well, okay? So this here, let's do a way, a way. We've already done the way, way too early when we do the opponents. So let's do a, let's do a, a kind of way point five. Where we, we don't have to do a prediction, but we can do a prime time. All right, so the games that I plan on going to, this game here, but this one's kind of risky because I don't do outside, and this one could be a weather game. And Kansas City, too far to drive. I'm definitely going to this one. That's two. I'm going to this one to see Big Maul. Not to see Big Maul, but to see us play Big Maul, okay? So I'm going to one, two, three. I'm going here because it's indoors. And this one right here, I plan to go to if it is we play them early, which I am predicting we will. I'm predicting a fall game. This is, this is what I plan to do. Now, my question to you guys, how many primetime games do you think we're going to have this year? We had zero last year. They flexed us into the last game of the season, which does not count. We're not going to count flex games because that's the NFL's convenience. And I'm going to count right now. Okay, John says six. Paul says three. Joseph says five. I think we're going to have five as well. But, okay, four because of Thanksgiving. So I think we're going to have four because of Thanksgiving. Who those four are going to be, it could be Kansas City. That could be a Monday night game. We're, we shouldn't have a Thursday night the, the, because we have Thanksgiving. So we should get left alone. So, yes, Hunt, you, I agree. Three, including Thanksgiving. But I will say this. Two years ago, I swear, man, the L.A. Rams were always on. Every time you looked around, the L.A. Rams was on. So I'm thinking... Kansas City could be one. We got to look at storylines. Kansas City could be one. Maybe the Raiders could be one. The Broncos could be one. The Packers might be one because Aaron's gone. If we played Aaron, we could. I could even see them putting the Saints on as well. So what they're going to pick, I don't know. We will know a week from Thursday at 8 o'clock, so make sure you guys are around. Nate says, KC, Baltimore, Denver, Cowgirls. I could see that. I could see that. I think one of our early primetime games are going to be this one right here. I think that because these both of these teams play on Thanksgiving. Okay, so Kansas City. So what about home, though? We need a few home, home games. Man, our home schedule look easy, bro. So we got to see B. John. That's going to be something. They might put this one on primetime. We got to see Bijan. We got to see Chark. We got to see Jamal. We got to get our revenge here. We got to see Les Ride. We got to see, and we already know about these. Maybe Carolina, I don't know. Man, you looking at it and you're like, bro, this, this look like a very winnable schedule. We don't know who Jordan Love's going to be. The Bears aren't there yet. We went 5-1 and one in the division, and we should have went 6-0. and oh. Man, this year right here, Lions and Seahawks will be prime time. I could see that. I could see that. Well, let me know what you think in the comments below because this is very intriguing. But we have the schedule release a week from Thursday, so make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you won't miss when we go live on Detroit Lions Syndicate.